Hi, it's been a very long time since I've done a live stream challenge, or actually a live stream. I think it was my challenge that I finished some months ago. Um, I did a 30 day self-imposed challenge and, and managed to do it every day for 30 days. And since then, I think I've done it once. So I set myself a little challenge again this week just to get back into it because it's been on my mind. I actually got to a point where I was really enjoying doing the live stream challenges, um, sorry, the live streams. And um, there's just so many competing demands all the time and, and uh, very little time, it seems, with all of the um, tasks and workload that I'm trying to get through that it, it's been going down the priority list. But it is a priority, so I've decided I'm back. Um, I'll give you a little bit of an update um, we're with, with Northside psychology that is um, so um, we're recruiting um, always for, for really good clinicians we've managed to um, probably since the last live stream challenge I did put on um, three people three people and I'm trying to bring another one in from overseas at the moment um, so um, we've put on an amazing social worker Yulam who does brilliant couple work couple and family work um, really talented uh, we've put on um, Richard, who is an inspiration. He's a provisional psychologist and did his, did his PhD in his 70s. Amazing, love it. Um, and we have Miley, who is a clinical psychologist and is starting with us in mm, just on about two weeks, actually. Um, so really experienced and, um, is, you know, all three are just a huge asset to the team. And today I've been completing an application to put into home affairs to um, try to bring a clinical psychologist from Europe over. Um, and we know that she, she'll be a great fit um, and a great asset as well for our team. So um, it's a huge application. I think I've got 26 pages so far and I, I was hoping to get it done and haven't quite achieved that. But anyway, it will be in as soon as I possibly can do it. Um, we also have, or I also have, my um, new executive assistant who's been with me for a little while now, maybe even six weeks or something, I'm not quite sure. Amazing, Elena, amazing, is actually really making a difference to my life and um, yeah, I'm forever grateful for that. Um, we're looking for a casual admin staff member at the moment, um, just put an ad out today. So um, yeah, looking for someone there um, to work in our Belcon and Gungahlin offices. So it's a little bit about what's going on there with, with um, Northside. Um, we've run a really successful Secret Agent Society program. I think they finished last week um, with kids who have social, um, uh, emotional um, regulation issues. Um, often, you know, kids who have um, ADHD or ASD. Um, so that's actually gone off really well and we're, we've already got um, the next one uh, pretty much full, I think, which is due to run next term, which is fabulous. Um, and we're training Richard uh, in being a facilitator for that and also Jenny Abaddon, who's um, a really experienced clinical psych in our team. So she's also training at the moment to, to run the next round of these, which is really cool. Um, Jenny and um, one of our provisional psychologists, Jess, also ran a um, really successful anxiety group for adults uh, during the last term, which was awesome. Don't think we'll be running that next term, but, um, but hopefully the, the term after. Um, we'll see how that one goes, but it went really, really well, and it was just um, it, you know, very, very well facilitated by a really experienced clinician who um, just loves working with group processes. So that was great, it's a huge asset for us. Um, so that's a little bit of an update there. And then otherwise, um, you know, I've managed to get into Canberra a couple of times lately, which has been lucky now that the borders have shut. I got back on Friday night um, and uh, I think the borders shut to the ACT on Sunday. So that was really good to, to zip in and out there. Um, and during that time, I had two days of business planning, which was absolutely amazing with our clinical team leader and also our, our internal clinical supervisor. So we did a lot of really cool stuff there and, and um, looking at developments, how we can improve, um, you know, how, how we can uh, keep serving the community better and keep expanding and, and um, um, scaling up our services, you know, with things like different types of groups and also, you know, developing our three provisional psychologists to be able to also provide testing under, you know, very 
um, higher level of supervision and clinical supervision and guidance, but to be able to do more psychometric, assist um, psychometric assessments. So things like that, which was, which was awesome. Um, and during that time, we also did an in-house training. So that's our second in-house training that we've done uh, this year. And um, we had four hours, beautiful afternoon tea in the middle of it all. Had some time with the whole team to begin with, um, where we were going over processes for Medicare item codes and you know things like that, just to for, again for continual improvement, looking at systems improvement. And um, and then we had um, the clinical and the administrative team split. Um, so that we could focus on our particular areas. And we had the wonderful Denise Albrew, who is a great psychologist in, um, in Brisbane, who runs Haven Psychology Clinic. And she did gender diversity training with us, which was really awesome. Um, so yeah, so all in all, you know, just really, yeah, good week last week and, and uh, Lots happening as always at Northside, lots of really positive stuff and I'm always just truly inspired by the team. I think um, they are absolutely amazing and when I fly into Canberra and have days, you know, like I did last week and, um, you know, shared learning and also just feeling really grateful and really inspired by the team, um, yeah, warms the cockles. Anyway, um, quick live stream just to get back into it. So have a great night, everyone. And, um, and I won't leave it too long between the next one. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye.